Psalms chapter 27 verse 1 A Psalm of David Yahweh is my light and my salvation whom shall I fear Yahweh is the strength of my life of whom shall I be afraid and the wicked even mine enemies and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh they stumbled and fell though an host should encamp against me my heart shall not fear though war should rise against me it will in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of Yahweh that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of Yahweh all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of Yahweh and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret place of his tabernacle shall he hide me, he shall set me upon a rock. Kal halalium la yihawa bahasham shal yihawa shai bahasham rakakwadash, which is ancient Pilo Hebrew for all praises to Yahweh, the Heavenly Father's only name, in the name of Yahawa Shai, his son's only Hebrew name, which can only be uttered in, in the Hebrew tongue, both of those names, in the Rakakwadash, in the name of the Rakakwadash, which is the Holy Spirit, the wisdom on the sand of the Holy Scriptures. <coughs> Slakio. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and salutations to the sincere Akim, 144,000 men, the one third men, women, and children elected to be saved in these last days. All right. I just read Psalms 97, verse 1 to 5. And the reason why I read that precept is uh, through the Spirit. Um, if the most I be for us, who could be against us? Or. They that are with us is more than they that are against us, roughly paraphrased in a precept that I'm about to get to, right? Yeah, because you know, we might feel now or in the time of destruction that, you know, doubts might come in our mind and whatnot, and we might feel we're alone. But Yahweh Shai said in uh Matthew or it's Luke, I believe, the last chapter. Um I, behold, I'm always with you. You know? And, um, you know, when Yahushai was about to be persecuted, when he was about to be scourged in a synagogue and crucified, and Peter pulled out that sword and cut off a man's ear, Yahushai said, I could have called 10,000 angels and we will have those spiritual power. You know, Lord willing, we are of that number. That's what we're hoping for. And there will be a time when, when we'll feel destitute and alone. And you'll, most I will be doing that to try us, but you know, he still he will still be with us. But that's just a trial. And then then we'll be able to call upon the call upon then Yahweh Bashim will give us the power. We'll 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 uh what's the word looking for? Let's say tear down the veil, you know. Take out, take off that um, that curse, turn up that spiritual power. All right, so let me read it again. Psalms chapter twenty-seven, verse one. Yahweh is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Yahweh is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, my even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me. My heart shall not fear, though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of Yahweh that I will seek for, that I may dwell in the house of Yahweh all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of Yahweh and to inquire in his temple. Right, and that's what we that's what we're striving for. To behold the beauty. It's lucky about you know the noise in the background, you know, these damn dragons. One thing have I desired of Yahweh that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of Yahweh all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of Yahweh, and quiet his in his temple. For in the time of trouble shall he shall hide me in his pavilion, and the secret and in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. Alright. Um so, Slakio. 
wrong thing I clicked. Yeah. Um yeah, this way. Um let's go to Second Kings chapter six verse six to eighteen. All right. Let's start from verse eight. Then the king of Assyria war. Uh, this is Elisha, by the way, right? But I believe it's going to say it here. Yeah, yeah. Second Kings chapter six verse eighteen. Then the king of Assy of Syria warred against Israel and took counsel with his servants, saying, "In such and such a place shall be my camp." And the man and the man of the Most High sent unto the king of Israel. Saying, Beware that thou pass not such such a place, for thither the Syrians are come down. And the king of Israel sent to the place which the man of power told him, and warned him of, and saved himself there, not once nor twice. Alright, so he took the orders. Therefore the heart of the king of Syria was sore troubled for this thing. He called his servants and said unto them, Will ye not shew me which of us is for the king of Israel? Alright. One of his servants said, None, my lord, O king, but Elisha the prophet that is in Israel telleth the king of Israel the words that thou speakest in thy bedchamber. Yeah, the, the man of the Lord received that power. And how did he receive that power? The angels told him. The angels gave him a tip. Right, <clears throat> and he said, "Go and spy where he is, that I may send and fetch him." And it was told him, saying, "Behold, he is in Dothan." Right, therefore, sent he thither horses and chariots and great hosts, and they came by night and compassed about the city. And when the servant of the man of power was risen early and gone forth, behold, the host compass about compassed the city both with horses and chariots. And his servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall how shall we do? So Elisha's servant was 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 uh, fearful, and he and he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. All right, and that's the name of the lesson. For they that be with us are more than they that be with them, because we got angels about us. Right, the scripture saying Psalms that uh, the angels of the Lord are encampeth around. Them that fear you, how by Shemi or Shai, roughly paraphrasing. So we got to, I'm not saying walk around like you got a vest in your chest and be all, you know, feel you're, in, you're invincible. Because scripture says, um, tempt not Yahweh. Because, you know, Shatan tried to do that with Yahweh Shai. But we got to be humble. And the more humble we be, the more Yahweh will protect us. All right? That's why we throw up these curses and so forth. All right? And Elisha prayed and said, Yahweh, I pray thee. Open his eyes that he may see. And Yahweh opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw. And behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots and fire round about Elisha. See that? As men of the Lord. No, not hellfire. Damn. Dragon making a bunch of noise. As Elisha prayed and said, Yahweh, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And Yahweh opened his eyes. And young man and he saw and behold the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha yeah that's what we want we want how <coughs> how Bashem to open our eyes that we may see these angels that we may well you know some brothers see it and so forth the most I bless them with that and we're patiently waiting for the most I reveal all this to us but you know the most I has to uh you know his prophecy has to fulfill and the Mosai has to, or I would like to say that the Mosai is easing us into it because of this flesh. Because, you know, you could you could bug out just seeing the angel. You, the fierce countenance, you know, Lord, we're not going to do a lesson on, on, on the, the description, the, the appearance of, of angels, you know. Try to get all the accounts, Lord willing. All right? 
And when he and when the same and when they came down to Elisha, when they came down to him, Elisha prayed unto Yahweh and said, Smite this people, I pray thee, with blindness, and he smote them with blindness according to the word of Elisha. Alright, and you see he, he called curses on them. And they and they, he could have slaughtered them right there. Alright. Slaughtered them right there. Um yeah, because the easy pickings, let's go to Romans chapter 8, verse 31. All right, Romans chapter 8, verse 31. And it reads, What shall we say then to these things? If the most I be for us, who can be against us? And that's why I read Psalms 27 through the Spirit. All right. Yeah, the most size for us. So who can be against us? Who can challenge the word? Who can challenge um, the things that are that are that are for us? And if we have that number, we got that covering. And you know, even though we die as martyrs, martyrs, we come back and you know, you know, um, bring forth this prophecy whereby we meditate terror and then we fulfill that terror by destroying our enemies. You know, and um, that's about it. Um, pray that this lesson was that he find. Wanna give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Makakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Create of Millstone, who are the apostles and elders of, of Israel who rule well. Thwadi Hawa, Thwadi Awashai. Um I pray that you know we continue to open our understanding to bring all these lessons to edify, exhort, admonish, uh, and so forth the Akyamya. Shalom Akim Brakatam.